Continue. So uh, the video that was produced by the Hambone Group that you and I met on, it came up. With the girl. Blonde. Yeah, the blonde. That you exchanged a couple of booty pics with. Well, yes. Yes. I didn't give her. I didn't exchange. I, I believe I, I just received. You didn't send her a photo of your own ass? I didn't send her a photo of my own ass. No. What's the tactic? Mine uses that trick. He says, do you want to trade booty pics? And you get That's hilarious. Time. That's you funny, get, actually. Leo. What's the tactic? I mean, usually it was. Can I say this? Can I preface this? Because Leo has, and he takes some credit for it saying like, hey, this is proof I'm a pimp because I can take your phone and I can get nudes out within yeah, yeah. a minute. But I tell him, hey, 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 these girls are already fans of my They're channel. Fans so it's not as if a yeah. random yeah, community sure. college student you're accomplishing this magic with. It's true. It's true. Leo has grabbed my phone a couple of times before I was with my girlfriend. I remember one instance specifically when we were on the road trip to Sacramento. A fan came out. Yeah. To a meetup thing. Yeah. It was, and, and her boyfriend came out as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Leo took my phone, sent one of those expiring messages. You yeah. send a little text block. Yeah. And then there's the blue icon that says view photo. Mm -hmm. I can only guess at what he wrote, but she clicked it, read it, responded to whatever it said with a picture of her titties. <laughs> what did you say? What, uh, if I remember correctly, this was a while ago already. I said something like, hey, you know, it's been a long shoot day. You know, my cameraman dropped a couple clips. I'm feeling really stressed out, but you know what? You're you're very beautiful. I would really love it right now if you sent me a a picture of your tits. It would make my day, and it would it would put a smile on my face. And I really need it right now. And she did it. Did you use the word tits? I, I, I use the word tits. Yeah. I mean, that's. I think that's. I think that's the one girls respond to the most. Breast is like a little too like older, like old creepy man. Like, can I see a breast? What about what my dad taught me when I was a kid? Nannies. Nannies is good. I might start using nannies. I like nannies. Austin, you trying to suck some nannies tonight? I don't think I've ever asked for a tit pick. Well, you got to ask for nannies. Wait, are you going to have you, your love life is, is a how is your love life right now? Are you, are you messing with any girls sexting? What are you doing? Well, see, my thing is like, I don't have uh, like commitment issues or anything like that. I'm not going to cheat on anybody. I'm just so goddamn lazy that I hmm. literally could not be fucking bothered to text somebody every day. And could be the weed. Everything. Talking to the mic, asshole. I know you're afraid of germs. Yeah, but no one's going to be able to hear you. Is it the weed? Um, what? Is also, your weed? headphones aren't plugged into anything, Danny. I just want to wear them because it feels right. <laughs> there got to be two men wearing <laughs> headphones. You're throwing off the balance. Is it the weed, you think, that makes you lazy? Uh, probably. Yeah, it's Part a weed. It, yeah, look, it started doing, it started, you know, maybe every other day. And then one day, maybe once a week. And then maybe only on special occasions. I'll start with like... You want me to help you out right now? Yeah. Maybe I'll, maybe the next hour yeah. I won't smoke. Here's yeah. all Austin needs to do to get laid. Download Tinder. Yeah. Take a picture of his face in decent lighting. Not great, yeah. just decent. It's decent. And put in his bio, I know Danny Mullen. Yeah, you're good, dude. The pussy will start flowing like the Mississippi. Like the salmon. All right, you fucker. Yeah. That's all it takes. You got no excuse. Like the salmon of Capistrano. Yeah, y'all are both taken, so I'm just waiting for, like, the groupies to, you know, like... Dude, yeah, next time we do a... Uh, Fan Jerry fucked a groupie. Yeah, he did. You have no excuse to not fuck a groupie. Next time, dude, we if I ever if I ever do another comedy show, yeah, that'll be a good... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the, the fans will come out in droves, dude. Well, it might not be a comedy show we perform out next. It might be a full-on rock concert it with Ariel Pink concert, in the band. Yeah. And a live... One of these live. I really want to do one of these live. I'm down. That'd be amazing. We got to get a live thing going. Yeah. A lot of people have been asking for it and we could totally do it. Like everything. Well, yeah, we live on the, on the, th but actually live, we could put it on, we could do live, you know, with an audience plus. I think that's, oh, okay. that's on still the goal eventually, right? To have like an in-studio audience. I don't know if we need an in-studio audience because the studio is my house. Yeah, no, but I mean, I'm in I don't studio want everybody you know, knowing where I live. One day when we have a studio, you know, where we're paying rent to some, you know, to where, you know, we go somewhere. An in-studio like, audience would be cool. Yeah, Opie like, and Anthony used to have like that. Like Opie and they Anthony. They had a peanut yeah. gallery. Yeah, exactly. Like a little peanut gallery. Guys, you want to wrap this?